Now, let's bring you up to date with the ongoing protests that have been taking place in Russia, because now Russia has asked Google to stop advertising what it calls illegal mass events on its YouTube video platform. And this follows those um, a month of those huge protests that have been taking place in Moscow. The latest was on Saturday. Let's have a look at the scene where it's believed that around 60,000 people took part. Now, this protest was officially indoor authorized, but dozens of people were arrested arrested as they moved to other parts of the city, many outside President Vladimir Putin's offices in the city center. Now, these protests, this movement that Steve was talking about, it started a month ago with Moscovites demanding fair elections. Many are simply unhappy that opposition candidates have been banned from running in municipal elections, which are due to take place in September. And they include people like this one. This is the opposition politician Lyubov Sobol. Here she is actually being arrested at a protest on the previous weekend. And it also includes people like Alexei Navalny. He is a prominent critic of the Kremlin. Now, anger is also increasing after apparent incidences of police brutality. Have a little look at this video that uh, was taken over the weekend, and it actually shows a protester who was caught by police. Let's bring it up. If I can actually play it for you, that would be helpful. But have a look at this. So there she is. She's being held and there she's punched by the police. And you can see the pain in which she's then dragged away by police officers after being punched in the stomach there.